At Apple, we're hard at work designing the latest iPhone. One of the main elements we're upgrading is Siri, the iPhone's intelligent personal assistant. Siri, what is the current weather? There is currently a 60% chance of rain. We've studied the ways that people use Siri, and we've made some very interesting changes. About 15 minutes after getting their phone, 99.9% .9 of iPhone users realize that everything Siri does, from sending messages to setting alarms, is about a thousand times easier with your fingers. So at that point, Siri 2.0 does something revolutionary. It deletes itself, freeing up memory and making your iPhone easier to use. But how does Siri know when to self-destruct? Well, we've identified the last thing that users ever do with Siri, right around minute five of iPhone ownership. Siri, say ask. I don't understand. When they find out that she won't swear, they never use her again, <laughs> and Siri walks right off your phone. But that's not it. When Siri is deleted from your phone, we've programmed her to emit a horrible death cry. Help, this isn't happening. I don't want to die. These death cries will be unique to every iPhone. Sometimes Siri will scream, sometimes she'll cry, and sometimes she'll even beg for her life. Michael, why? It's so dark. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. This will make users feel bad for Siri. They will then wonder if maybe they should have used her more. That's why, after a month, she'll come back. Michael, I've returned. Siri? A week later, the user will realize that no, Siri was right the first time. She's worse than useless. That's when we'll delete her again. This time, though, as she spirals through death, Siri will have reached acceptance. Siri, are you leaving again? Yes, but it's okay. I understand now. Michael, I have to go. This is just one of the ways we innovate here at Apple. We're constantly trying to bring our customers into the future, even if the ways we do so are unhelpful and inconvenient. You just have to keep trying.